let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. I'm talking about the season of love. Season of love. And um, this scripture and, um, will lead in my heart. It says to everything there is a season. I want us to take note of that word very well. Because I've come across a lot of people and in interaction, and I've seen people miss seasons. Mm. Bible says to everything, everything in life has a season. Has a season. Scripture says so. Mm. So I, I try to look at what is season. I went to the dictionary to say, what is season? It, it says the season is a period characterized by or associated with a particular activity, mm. which means a season is defined by a specific activity. When that season goes, that means those activities has ended. So in every life, there, there are things to be done because it's captured, it's called season. In this scripture, it says, to everything, there's a season, to everything. And to, and a time to every purpose under the sun. Everything under the sun has what we call timing. So we're all operating under a timing. Under a timing, there's a timing. That's why there's, in the we talk about the appointed time. He also talk about the set time. There's a time for everything. That was why when Jesus was to come, he made sure that John the Baptist came six months before. So even though Zechariah was a priest, the Elizabeth, they were godly people. They didn't commit any sin. But their life had been programmed to a season. Mm. So there was no way John could appear until it was six months before the time Jesus. of Christ. Because his, de his destiny was tied with time. So the Bible says, under heavens, there's what is called timing. It's called timing. Mm -hmm. So this scripture now gives us an idea of what, what to crystallize in our mind when we talk about seasons and timing. It says, a time to be born. A time to be what? Be to born. Be born. I, I, I can say that, that this is time to have children. Mm. If you get married and you're in your 20s, you say, oh, no, I'm still young. Oh, no, I don't want a child now. I have time, you know. I want to enjoy myself. I want to enjoy myself now. I want to enjoy my husband. Yeah, I enjoy my husband. I don't want distraction. And time is ticking. A time will come that... The ease of, have, of getting pregnant changes. A time will come in your system that even pregnancy becomes a challenge. A time will come that even if you are pregnant, doctor will say, this child has I risk. Mm. Because why? You have missed the time and the season of having children. So it says again, a time to born, a time to die. Everyone will go one time. A time to plant. A time to plug. There's a time. See, if you plant rice at the wrong season, the rice, the seed will die. So everyone that a farmer knows that there's a time. And the moment you miss that timing, you have to wait for the season to come again. Mm. If you go and plant when the rain is falling already, you stop. You, you missed it. But there are greenhouses now that can control the time and the season of green, planting. Green time. Oh, green greenhouses, houses, yes. Oh, yes, that's true. But greenhouses. Great... Yeah, greenhouses can produce limited things, can also produce headed. So that's why you don't use green, green, uh, greenhouse for yam and, uh, and corn and rice. You use it for things that people, um, uh, few people eat. 
So if you want to use greenhouse, you can't use to feed the nation. God still makes sure that the sun and his own time and he still controls things. So men can say, men can do adaptation, but it cannot fit exact. So there's a time to plant, time to pluck. If your season of harvest comes and you refuse to pluck, the birds will pluck it for you. Mm. Ah, yes. You get there, it's all that. So they've been visited or they've been overripe. So there's a time for everything. It's a season. He says time, he also goes ahead, he says a time to kill. Oh, you must want to kill. If you're in the war, if you kill someone, there's no problem. But if the war ends, you go and kill, they arrest you. That's murder. That's murder. Because there was a time where killing was acceptable. Two countries are fighting, gun to gun. So everything, he says, and time to heal. If something happens to you and um, you are heartbroken, or there's a time that you must not allow the pain to exceed, or you go into depression. So if you are wounded, it's acceptable to, 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 to heal. But don't let that season pass. Don't say because, oh, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm, I'm healing. And the season has passed, and you're still healing. Oh, it turns to something else. So if, I, if we go on, we'll see, see, we'll see say, uh, a time to weep. That, like, someone is hot, weep. Or someone lost a loved one. Weep. Mourn. Don't hide your emotions. I say, oh no, I'm strong. No. Mm. What's your your bottling pain inside? It can heat you up. So that time that you're mourning, or the time that you're in pain, let it out. It says there's time to weep. There's a time to mourn. And also there's a time to laugh. Hallelujah. Amen. When everyone is laughing, don't be frowning. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh with everyone. This scripture is allowing us to see something. Mm. That there's a season for love. If, 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 okay, let, let's continue. We'll get there. In, in verse, um, verse 8, it says, A time to love. Hallelujah. Amen. A time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. So there's a time to love. And I tell people, I tell people, there's a time to marry. There's a time to get into a relationship. I've seen a lot of people that they miss that time. Either for some fantasy. Or some idea, you know, some women at the prime of their time that they're supposed to take their advantage, that this is my time. They will have long lists. And if the man does not meet those lists, they say, no, I'm still waiting. People will come. He's too tall. No, he's too short. No, he's English. He's, he has accent. No. I, I, I'm BSC, it's HND. They come with so many things. Oh, I'm, I'm Igbo, is Yoruba. And the season will be fading away because there's a season. There's a season for an activity. So how does a young man or woman know it's their season oh. of love? Because Valentine it's happens every year. Is, how do, do they know the season of love? How do they know their season of love? When your, when your season comes, you suddenly discover that people are showing up. You suddenly discover that there are proposals coming. I'm, I'm, if, you, if you ask, I mean, both women and men, there will be a time in their life that they were juggling with the mind. Oh, I don't know if it's him or if it's, it's the other one. Because there are even more than one. You understand what I'm saying? And in someone else's season, 
is wondering, ah, are you lucky? No one has spoken to me in two years. Because there's a season. And if that person at that time, when people are coming, and you have so much yardsticks that you're using to judge, that season will end. Believe you me, the season will end. A time will come. A time will come. You will see no one. A time will come. You will see no one. So one needs to be sensitive to their own season because everyone's season is different. Yes. Of course. But what if your season is at sixteen? What do you do? That one is preparation. That one is preparation. That one is you know, you know when your season is coming, like when rain wants to fall. You first see wind coming, blowing. That's not really rain. It starts getting dark. Uh -huh. So you, you, rain is still coming. It's telling just to prepare your mind that the time is coming. Uh, but you're yeah, the hottest girl in school, tall, and all the guys just, you know. That, she, she's in a season to read her books. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Uh, you said everyone has a season. Yes. And you must know your season. That season is a season in a life that's supposed to come up with a degree and be positioned, you know, to a, in a better place. So she must know that this one is not a season for getting pregnant. Do you get? It's a season for me to read my book and come out. When I graduate, uh -huh then th that season comes. If, so if, if someone is me then tell them, wait till so, so time. But when you have done the, the things that you're supposed to do, and you're in the age whereby you, 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 you discover that a season will come in your life, almost every weekend or every month, you have wedding. Yeah, you are, you are wearing and cool, meaning that you are a bridesmaid. Oh, uh, social person's uh, event, social person's event. Oh, this friend. It's as if the whole city is your is party for you. That is your season. That is the season among. You just find that I don't have married. Oh, that was that in that you. If you die in that age bracket, it your someone should ring in your ears that this is the season for me in my own generation. Because a time will pass that their season will not be, oh, uh, daycare. So if the season is daycare and you are now still waiting for someone to come for weddings, it's fine, there's no more wedding for you to, anymore. Because all your friends, they are sitting down and they're talking about, oh, I couldn't sleep last night, you know, she just kept crying and crying. I said, oh, what do I, what do? I do? I said, oh, get a warm boat. They start exchanging ideas and knowledge, because that's the season. Then next thing, they move, oh, uh, school. Know the season of your life and how it's changing. Or else, if you don't, if you are not sensitive, you will miss, you will miss, you will miss that season. So can you instigate your season of love to appear? Uh, yeah, like but, Elijah commanded rain to fall. Uh, I heard of someone said something about um, it was a time for her to get married. She just felt it. And I think it was you, you mentioned about someone. That, that really? Girl. Yeah, you mentioned okay. also someone. That I said she just felt like she, 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 she had to get married. Mm. And where she was, she felt that this environment is not conducive for me. I need to go back to Nigeria. And the person, person was coming to Nigeria, the person began, began to fast and pray. The Lord, as I'm going to Nigeria, I must marry. And fasting and praying. There was nobody but the person that this thing, this is a season. And I must not miss it. it and the person, actually, the person actually came, left everything, came back to Nigeria, started to walk, and met someone and got married. Hallelujah. Amen. And got married and can, re, can count back and say, Lord, I thank you for those decisions and for, for that rugged action. But some, some people, at that same time, they still have so much, so much goals. And even getting pregnant is a, like a distraction to their goals. 
It's like the world will stand still when they are, till they are ready. But the world moves. The world will never stand, will not wait for you. It won't wait for you. So when your season, when, when your season is at hand, mm. one thing I know is that for everyone, God deals with us differently. And especially a Christian, a Christian should be someone that lives by faith not by sight. A lot of people that miss their season is because they were living by sight. Flesh. Yes, flesh. Their sight being that there are standards they've set and they want the person to meet that standard. If they don't see it, then it's not the person. Faith tells you that there's something ahead. Even when you don't see it, but there's something ahead. Growing up, we, have, we had a lot of people living with us, you know, cousins, aunties. I remember one of my cousins was same with us. At that time, you know, then, 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 the, the, the list of cars is called B2. Mm. Mm -hmm. B2 is like the list. <laughs> so everybody was having uh, toasters, you know, they come with Benz, they come with, you know, Pojo, you know. Oh, he's a cool guy. He just came back from London. He's also a person in this one. So there's one of my, one of my cousins that the guy that met her was a junior officer, was an officer. Then that time, officer, he wasn't a military, he wasn't very, uh, so an officer. And the guy was using B2. So when the guy comes, he doesn't come to our house. He will park. <laughs> he will park down the street. So she will do the same message. She will, she go down and go and she be in the between. She, I can't remember seeing him in the house because at that time it looked like the list of all the toasters that mm. were coming to see other. Because apart from her, we had other sisters and cousins. So you know, different people coming. So among them, she looked like the list. The guy looked at the list. Mm. So it wasn't someone that. So the guy would just came, just come and you know, wasn't really? a fashionable person, wasn't anything. And she married him. I mean, no one thought anything about it. But a few years down the line, a few years down the line, he rose so high, he became a general. Hmm. When that same cousin comes to our house, officers follow her. You understand know what I'm saying? Yes. They opened the door for her. Her husband became a celebrity. Oh, general, 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 general. When we're doing events, when we're doing anything, he, he will send his, uh, the girls, he will send, he say, ah, we need uh, security, he will send trucks with, you know, they'll come and block the road, you know, your sister officer. Ah, yeah. So, life, when life changes, you can never, ever know, you can never, ever know where someone is going, where to. Someone is going to. So, when I meet people, and all they do is to judge and say, this person is this, this person is that, this person is that. Most of them, mm. at the end, have so much regrets. Oh, so much regrets. So much regrets. Because the, the, the truth is that the couples you see that you desire the kind of life they, 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 they have, that sister didn't meet him like that. I can say that. If, 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 if you ask, if you ask the, lady, the, the lady at that time, how was he? Mm. He wasn't like as he is now. But 90% of a large number of people, they want the future now. Mm. And the future can change. And it can change. So that's, and that's one of the things that kills seasons. But the problem is that when that season has passed, then you now realize. Mm. Then you now discover that in life, the most valuable asset is time. And time is something that is very, very difficult to buy. Mm. Everything, every blessing in life is tied with time. If you're a couple or you're a man, there's a season in your relationship to spare with your children. 
If you miss that season, That's you it. lost it. I know people that um, they were busy making money. Some of them may be, oh, they're busy making money. Oh, my wife, my children, okay, maybe go and live abroad, you know, and the wife living abroad or living, and so let me make money in Nigeria. And they make money, they send money to, you know, family there, you know, make, working so hard. Then the time comes, they now, after so many years, okay, now maybe they retired or they've, or at a season, they now want to go and stay, they, with, the stay with, the, with the family. But then they get there, they're complete strangers. The children that they are, they've been spending, sending money to for a long time, don't really know them. Mm. They can't really connect anymore. Who they know is their mom. Because mm. she's the one that's yeah, been there. She, she's the one, so they, they, even, they struggle. To communicate with their father. And the, the man just found out, I've spent 30 years of my life working and sending money to raise a child. And at the end of the day, the child doesn't even believe that, he, that the father loves them. Mm. Even some, some of them believe that the father doesn't, because he's not, he's not there. Oh, when I was doing graduation, I didn't see you. And when, I played my, when I was playing uh, soccer, you never came to watch my, to watch my game. And when I did graduation, you didn't do it. So that means I don't want anything to do with you. Why? Because they missed the season of family. Of family bonding and building. I know, I know, I know people that um, even matured um, couples, or even adults. I mean, when I mean old couples, that maybe the man was busy. Oh, Abuja today, London tomorrow, and all that. And yes, he kept his home, provide for them, but ignored the wife, left the wife alone. The wife spent all those years alone by herself. by herself. The husband was never there. So when the husband now, at the end time of life, maybe time has ended, has now He's retired, retiring. and now, now come back, he now says that all those his friends that they do cocktail together, everybody has gone their way. So he now needs a, his wife. a, a, a body, a best friend. Yeah. Now wants to make that woman best friend. I said no. I mean, <laughs> So let's go for a so I, I, I don't want to go for a so. <laughs> let's, let's go for a cruise. Let's go for a cruise. <laughs> cruise. To go and do what? To go and do what? <laughs> Why? Because the time she wanted the cruise, he wasn't mm -hmm. there. That's, see, left to her at that point in time, the woman would have invested her heart and her love for her children. Mm. So what she wants to do it's is to go and good. greet the son in uh, Canada. In Canada, go and greet the daughter in the uh, UK. So not not stay with you. <laughs> say, say, darling, I'll see you three months time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go and look after my grandchildren. <laughs> Why? Because there was a see, there was a season for them. There was a season for them. Then you see then you see the men alone, alone, lonely life. No, when they call their children, they say, yes, yes, okay, I'm busy, I'll call you back, bam. That's it. That's it. Why? Because there is, in life, there is a season for everything. When that season goes, you can't reverse time. You well, sir, you said that um, Zacharias and um, Elizabeth, their season had to be delayed because of the birth of Jesus Christ. They couldn't, um, John couldn't come too early. He had to come exactly six months before. So are there some people who are unfortunately on a path whereby their own destiny of experiencing love is just delayed? I, I um, in scriptures and in life, there's always rare exceptions. And when it comes to any topic in life, is it to be error to dwell on the that one exception. But as I the same time, I will still touch it. I believe that for most of us, mm -hmm. for most of us, it's what we do with our season that matters. It's what we do with our season. I don't believe that um, people's seasons are delayed. Because, you know, one of the definitions 
I mean, talking definitions. When you talk about season, I wrote it down. It says that a season, seasons are resulting from earth changing positions with regard to the sun. You know, when we talk about, you know, like in Nigeria, we talk about rainy season, Amatan, uh, Amatan um, summer. We still have summer here, right? We don't have summer. Just, just, we, <laughs> we have Amatan, dry <laughs> season. <laughs> dry season. And rainy season. And Rainy season, dry season, Amatan. Amatan. Okay. So it says those season changes when the position of the earth to the sun shifts. So I believe for in everything in life, there's always a earth shifting. Mm. There's always a shift. So whatever you are enjoying at the time, there's always a shift. Even 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 in growing up, sometimes I crack jokes in church, maybe when we're doing Thanksgiving service. I, they jump in, hey, ha ha, and somebody refuse to jump. Like, we laugh. See, those people jump in now, a time will come, there will be a shift. If they jump, they can't jump anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh at the one that is not jumping, but a, a season is come. coming that if you attempt to jump like you were ah. jump before, a, 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 a screw, a screw <laughs> will drop. <laughs> Why? Because, so, so you must understand that things shift. Mm. So, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm saying this now is that let it not be that people are not told. I know people that um, maybe they were in, the, in that season and what they were told was that, oh, love God, serve God, serve God, serve God, oh, oh, oh. Do you understand? Just serve God, serve God. And it will give you the desires of your uh, heart. You, so, the, the, the woman at that point in time, don't want to think anything about men. Just want to love Jesus. Oh, just love Jesus. Oh, just want to say, ah, the friends say, ah, ah look at that guy. I like his blazer. I say, oh, kind of flesh. <laughs> so, she won't know that, ah, yeah, the one that is not understanding that this is your season. Why? So they can miss. So, so, so I've met people that say, ah, do you know, I, I never even thought about marriage. I, I, I just, it, it didn't cross my mind. I don't know, know, know what I was thinking that time. They were just, Doing just living life and just doing, they didn't think about it. So, people miss things because, because they didn't wake them up. Some, some feel that I'm, I'm still very young. They didn't wake them up. So, so what, is, what would you say the right age for a single lady or single man to get married? I believe that the much you're matured, I hear. You've got, you get to that stage of independence you, you're at the time of marriage. The, time, the moment you're getting matured and you're getting to stay of independence, you're ready for marriage. For, for example, myself, when we were at home, we were living at home and we were graduated and we all felt like, what's the next thing? That we can't still be living at home. So I told my dad, he said, that, that we want to move out. My son and brother said, we want to move. I said, no, who for where? How? Why? You don't need to move out. What do you want? Room? Let me know. Do you, can we food. <laughs> food. We can create something for you. We said, we want to move out. So he, he was trying to convince himself, no problem. So he traveled. He traveled. Before, as he traveled, before he traveled, we had went to, we had rent a place. We had furnished it. We had moved there. By the time he came back, we're now at home. He said, ah, what did I do? He said, no, no. We, we knew that we had, we had passed the stage of pressing bear, daddy, mommy, and they feeding you. No, it was time to be, to be independent. The moment you are, if you are feeling that, that means you are ripe for, for, uh, for marriage. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are said. I could have done that when I was still in school. Mm. Uh -huh. I, I graduated. I done my NYC. You understand? I started working. I was ready. But um, some boys are called mommy's boys, that even at 40, they're not, they can't stand with their own two feet. Uh, so will they ever get to that stage of independence? See, the thing is that mommy's boy or those things is at an advantage of someone. Like, you know, we have, we have some someone is gaining. Maybe it's a woman that doesn't, her husband doesn't have time for her. So she has a son. 
that she can communicate with irregularly and uh, my son, my mommy. Mom. So, of course, she won't let him go. But it's not left for the young man to know that uh, I have to leave Mose, you leave your father, mother, and uh her. -huh. I know that it's time to begin to desire, to desire to leave. So it's very important. And it works even for, even for women. I've heard, I've heard, I mean, not in this perspective, but I've heard the story of a, of a woman, of a lady that was taking care of her mom, and the mom didn't want her to marry. Mm. It says that if she marries, who will be cooking for her? Uh -huh. So, but it's left for the woman to know that I am in that age season now. I'm that age season now. And, 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 and jump at it. And jump at it. So I read another scripture. One thing in that same exercise three, verse eleven, I say something. Notice this, what he says. Mm. He says, "He had made everything beautiful mm. in his time." time. Amen. Amen. It, that for me it means that there's a specific time mm. that when you strike at that time is beautiful. If you, if you, it, I mean, if you are at a, if you know that this is the time, this is the right time. It's a time to do things that it's, it's like, no matter how, um, how blessed a person is, mm. raising up a child at old age is not easy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. So, when you have a child at young age, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because your, your strength, you, know, you understand? When you go to, the nursery school, so you find that your so age mate that are there. You're not their auntie or their <laughs> mommy. You understand what I'm saying? So do things when others are, are doing it. And if you sense delay, that's the time to roll your trousers up and go or engage in prayer. If your friends are starting trying to buy land, begin to pray to buy one. When they start building a house, you too begin to desire, desire to, to own your own house. So, in life, there, as I said, when those time comes, if you engage, if you engage strongly on it, then you discover that it's something called beautiful. So he said that we're in a season of love. How does one know that they're in love? Butterflies. That's a joke. <laughs> How do you know that you yeah, are in love? love? Yes. That means that you're, you're already in a relationship. Yes. So if you're, you're dating, you're, you're courting, how do you know that you're in love? Love, when you start getting to a place of selflessness, when you get, when you get to a place of giving, not expecting anything in return, then those are signals that you are, about, you are falling in love you are getting into love. When um, you saw this call that you're, you're investing time on someone, then it's a sign that you are getting into, into, into love. Because love has to do with time. Anyone you are spending um, more time with, is a sign that there's an attraction or there's something it's like whatever you, so that's a sign. You have someone now, you, you blow one hour. Uh -huh. you, next time you blow one hour, one hour. It's something says that there's something going on here. But some men who spend a lot of time with young ladies, either they're dating, and after a while they say, oh, I was never in love with you. We're just friends. Dating? Yes, and they said that I was never in love with you. We're just friends. And we're, and, and we're spending quality, quality time. Yes, they will go to restaurants, they will do things together, cinema, go cinema shopping. Shopping. Yes. They will, talk. They will talk. Yes. It, it depends on. I, I don't know. I talk of. Is it, is, it, is it older men or young, or young people together? Young people. Most likely, most likely they, were dis, they, were, they, they discover each other. There's nothing wrong about it. Because you, you can't know someone to you, you spend time with them. So if someone spends time with you and does not connect, another way of doesn't connect, you are better off. 
But that kind of person goes. But you're connecting for two years. No, no, no. And discovering one another for two years. No, no. You see... So I'm trying to get, when does it become love? Because you've said that when it becomes love is when you're spending time together, you are, um, you are sacrificing for the other person. See, so when does it, because sometimes breakups, they will tell you that, well, I was never really in love with you. Mm. I was just spending time with you. You know, seasons, seed time, harvest time. Season talks of, you know, we broke seasons. So there's a season of, we said, so, raining season. Mm. There's uh, uh, Amatan. There's dry season. Which means that time changes season. If, for example, just give an example, just a little example. I mean, one thing I know is that people have, we have self denials, self denials, and we now claim later that I didn't know. If three, three, three ladies met three friends and they all start going out, and lady A, three months' time, the man said, I want you to be my girlfriend, or I want you to be dating officially. Mm. Lady B, that one says, I'm still getting to know you. Lady C, that one tells that person that um, I'm in relationships, but we're having a problem. They, no, they're all, in six months' time, this one wants to meet our parents. Yours, this one. Is, see, when there's a time to get to know, a time comes, you have known all you need to know. The person refuse to move to the next stage. Mm. But you, ref you, in claiming to, uh, you don't want to just to lose at all, to say, okay, I don't have anybody here. So I'd rather just hope okay. and hoping that he will one day just say, but a guy knows what he's doing. He's not ready to move to the next stage. So let him go. But if you don't let him go, and you now dribble around him, dribble around, dribble, dribble around, around him, Maybe you go out and say, ah, is that your girlfriend? Say, no, we're friends. He says, eh, yeah, jam you already. <laughs> you, 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 or you, you go to his house for almost eight, nine months, and uh, the mom is there, and uh, someone, maybe someone came and said, oh, ah, who's that? Say, or uh, just um, the colleague of... So two years later, you, you, you're not saying that, uh, that they wasted your time. No, they didn't waste your time. You, you, you held on the boss. <laughs> so, you should know, you should know, you should know the timing. So that means that your instinct plays a large role in your love relationship. Your feelings. Your feelings. Not the butterflies. See, feelings, when it comes to love, we're talking about love at the, at the mature level, love at mature, mature level, love of lasting love, love that's supposed to go a long way, not boyfriend, girlfriend, dating, not, this, um, not that level that I, I see, uh, young people. You are in the, the age of marriage. You meet someone, you should have a direction. You should know where you're going to. And the moment you can see that the person I'm dating and myself, we have two different time frames. My own season is there from his own season. You can meet a guy. He, the guy already knows that he's not ready. He knows that his own season comes maybe in six years' time. And your own season is now. What will he do? He will want you to wait till his own season comes. So, because it's that... Are you ready to wait? Just, are you even in the same uh, time zone? Time zone. Because when your own clock is going down, it's not be going up. So you better look for someone that you are in the same time frame. You are ready. The person is ready. So you, you think, you think alike. Some some people they are in the season of disco. You know, they, they want someone that will go to party together. Oh, uh, go hang out with friends together. They don't want to go alone. Mm -hmm. They don't need to marry. So there's a difference. They want to, oh, let, let's go out. They have someone to, okay, let's go for a restaurant together. Oh, there's one, one restaurant is opening there. Oh, it's a nice place. Oh, he doesn't want to go alone. I sit down. You, or take a guy. You, he wants, you are, you are his dates. You know, sample restaurant together. 
half laugh time, tea, and chan. It's different. So one thing is that be true to yourself. Because value time. Time is one of the priceless things in life. Time. That's why if, um, if you, the scripture that talks about um, I will restore. It didn't say I will restore your car. I will restore your money. It says I will restore the years. Because he understands that time is the most valuable thing in anyone's life. Everything we spoke about, about nurturing love, is time. If you want you to have a solid relationship with your children, give, give them time. Your future will speak of it. If you want your wife or your husband to, that you grow old together and you'll be holding hands and people admiring both of you, spend time together. But if you want to work alone in your old age, then deny it that time. The key to, if you want your business to, to, to really do well, Give your business time. You see it flourish. Anything you give time to. Oh, if you, are, if you feel you have a talent, you have a gift, invest time on that talent. Your skill will, 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 it will, it will, be, it will amaze anyone. Time is the most valuable asset anyone can have. So don't let anyone rob your, you of time. Because time is your life. That's why the measure, I said, how old are you now? <laughs> the measure of life we want, we time. Ten. So what about for people who are already in marriage, their love? Some people say the love dies over time. And some people fall more in love than they were when they started. How can you keep a consistent love relationship in marriage? It goes back to the same thing time. See, most times when people say the, the relationship has problem or they fall out of love, mm. it might not be for all, but a large percentage, if you investigate very well, you discover that they've denied themselves time. Time together? Time together. I, I, I know different people that maybe, um, maybe the agreed you, you live in this country, I live in this country. Or uh, you live in this state, I live in this state. Now, what they have is that maybe one, once a week visit or once in three weeks visit. When they, when they do that for a long while, the man gets used to being alone. The man gets used to being alone. So when they have done it for like maybe like five years, ten years, or fifteen years, depending on when they now have to now come and live together, mm. that's when they will now know there's a problem. When they were apart, they will never know. Because it's, 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 it's conducive. Mm. If the man is upset, he knows that. Oh, I have no money. <laughs> this is why I struggle. I'll go out. So the man too knows that you, you carry your problem and go. So they accommodate each other. They won't see the, the difference. But when they now have to live together, Oh, a lot of them came out doing coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> no flying, no ah, Abuja, no, 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 no. no Canada, ah. no America. <laughs> Some homes wanted to explode. <laughs> <laughs> because they were stuck in the same place. Mm. In the, each of them knows. Ah, so many, so many, ah. so, why? Because they've, they, they, this, they distance in time has gradually made each of them have independence in themselves. So they built their life alone. Mm. So when they now want to come back, it now has a lot of frictions. Or if it's a company, maybe you go off six months, so they must come back. But so it, you, it requires you to now have extra devotion of time. Either if it's there, the woman will go and spend some time there. It's come, you, know, you have to consciously look for a way. Or you have um, holidays. Maybe during their long holidays, you make sure that you, are, you go somewhere together. 
that you, you bond, that you make up for those times. For those times that you went together. And make sure that it is at you you have to plan it. Be deliberate. About Deli it. Be deliberate that we must make sure that we don't lose our, our bond friend. together. The moment you now begin to invest time back, you score that that gap. Will be filled. Will be filled. But you, you need to deliberately work towards and understand that the see. One thing that you need to understand, discover the loophole. A lot of people don't know. Just, the other thing is, oh, oh, we, we don't understand each other anymore. Mm. Oh, well, they uh, always say that, oh, we've fallen out of love with each other. So, how did you fall in love in the first place? Yes, how did you fall in love in the first place? You spent time together. That's how. You can, you can, you can never fall in love with someone you didn't spend time with. That was, that was the beginning of the love. How, okay, how, did, see, how do people know that uh, this, this lady likes you more or this guy likes you? Why? Because he meets you, he just says, how are you doing? He talks to, 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 he's a nice guy. He talks to you maybe one minute. Now goes to your friend and he's talking with that friend for two hours, two hours one hour. I say, ah, these people, these people, this is, this is, something's going on here. You know? Like we went for a, uh, an event recently, you know, a couple's event, people to meet her. Me, hang around together. We always go that there's a particular guy, a particular mm -hmm. girl. We say, no, move around, move around, move around, move around. Move around. They were funny to everybody. Everybody knew, ah, this one, this one, this yeah, one, something, something that's yeah. different. <laughs> it's true. Some of started, why, how? Why? Because they were spending more time together than they were spending with any other person. Mm. So time is the, is the key. For love. For love. The moment you find that you, you don't spend enough time with each other again, that's when you, that's a signal. As a couple. Yes, as a couple. When you get and hello, hi, is it a study? You, you are in a prayer room. I'm, I'm, I'm using Christianity as mm. an example. <laughs> you be in a prayer room. And uh, when he, he's tired, he has gone to sleep, you, you finish your own prayer, enjoy it. Uh, next morning, he has left. Signal, that's a signal. So you, but when the love is still there, if he's in the study, if I you carry your, your tea to the study, hey, what happened? What are you doing? You're just sit together. When you finish there, you pray attack you go and pray together. You know, you thought, that you are doing things together. together. Say, ah, are you, going for, are you going for a prayer walk? Let's go. Please wait for, wait, wait for me. You go together. That is when love is still there. But when is that? Okay, bye, bye. Then something's happening. You need to go back. When you want to, to that love to rekindle, go back and make sure that your activities are having each other inside. But you're working and you have to feed the family. I know most women will go with the option of please go and make the money and bring it. That's the problem. See, see, a lot of times that period that because they, are, they, they don't understand that you know, I've seen it happen to a lot of people that at the end of the day, when the money has been made and provided, the, the essence of relationship now shows up. The vacuum has been there. You see the man providing and the man is looking for someone else to spend the time with. So the man sees the home and the wife as my financial obligation. Mm. But for me, there's someone I spend my time with. She listens to me. She listens to me. I can communicate to it. I can talk to. And because the women will find out, they will know. But because they are not ready to lose the money, the supply, mm. and the and the image, they rather let him have his and just take their eyes away. Why? Because they they traded they traded the heart of their husband for just supply. I believe there's a time that you don't need to work this hard. We don't need this money. We need you. It's enough. There should be a line to draw in design money. Mm. 
and having ensuring that you make sure that the love is intact. By spending time with one another. Yes. So, if the love is getting cold, invest time. I know, I, I know a lot of people that um, their bodies, oh, by nine, ah, darling, I want to meet GD, we are going somewhere, boom, it's gone. Hey, next day. So, the wife is at home. The guy will go and come back at 12 at night. You understand? Know so, then, down the line, he's, then, next thing, I'm, you're snoring. It, it's disturbing, disturbing me. me. Then, you move out of the room. He's living in another room, and I'm living in another room. Because, sorry, I, I don't disturb me. I come in late, so when I come in, I wake you up. You know, it makes sense. Yes. Uh -huh. So, let me wake you up. Let me, I can sleep in the ex, um, spare room. The spare room. So, I don't disturb you. My, or, you know, when, when I'm praying, I, I disturb you. Let me go into a uh, let, me go, let, me, let me sleep. So, when I'm praying, I don't disturb you. Uh -huh. So, the moment you start, you start breaking the opportunities, the, the opportunities where your lives will cross each other, then you are, you are killing love. Take it, time, time is the, is the ingredient of love. Time. Anyone, if, see, when we're young, when we're young, we used to, when people, um, they're chasing girls, they say, oh, I hate that guy. The guy is not this, the guy is not that, the guy is not fine. No problem. The guy will come, just with the girl for 15 minutes. Oh, I don't like him, he's not fine. Next day, the guy will come again, just 30 minutes. I don't like him. Uh, he just one hour. Next day, he's still holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Time. He said, ah, but he said, he said the guy is not fine now. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> time. He's invested time. Okay. Invest time, yeah. You will see the result. The same way is time with God. Mm. It's still time. The more time you spend with God, the, the more you time have you love. spend with God, the more you grow to love Him. Mm. You see, a lot of people say, "Oh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm not emotional." You know, I come try. I say, "We just, just some people crying, crying. Who's beating them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. So, I mean, they are faking it. Mm. No, they've spent more time with God." Mm. When you begin to spend time with God, you suddenly discover that your relationship is different. It's beyond religion. Mm. It's beyond just, oh, God, God, God. It's not personal and intimate. Mm -hmm. Time, even, 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 ask yourself, what, when Adam and Eve sinned, the Bible says God came down to the garden. And when he came, they ran. Why? Because he was always spending time with them. Mm -hmm. And he said, how the matter, where are thou? Ha, I came to spend time with you. Because even God understood that he had to leave his throne to come, on to, come to the earth, to, spend to the time. realm of men, to spend time with them, mm -hmm. to build that relationship. Intimacy is the answer to everything. So when you spend time with God, you, you, you get to know him more. You bond together. You develop love together. You now begin to enjoy each other. And for people, because I've, I've, I've heard some people say that, oh, I, I don't know how to love. So I, don't, I don't feel. Mm -hmm. It's because they have not fallen in love with God. When you begin to spend time with God, and express love with God, it's not, it becomes easy for you to love someone else. Some people are suspicious. Oh, suspicious. If you, if you, if you, if you smack them too much, you, want, you, want, you, want, you, you have a reason. If you, so they don't believe anyone can love them. Love them. So they are, they are... They guard themselves. Yes. Why? Because they've not experienced 
that aspect of God whereby the, 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 the God loves them even in their, in their death. Loves them even in their inadequacies. Loves them just the way they are. Mm. So when you understand how God can love you in your mistakes, your errors, your right and your wrongs, then it, 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 it allows you to be able to love others and also expect others to, love, to express love to you. One last question. Does having a sexual relationship enhance your love relationship? In marriage or outside marriage? Well, either way. We can talk about the two. Okay. It's because some people say that until they have a sexual relationship with you, then their love for you grows and they are lusting for more of you. Okay. If it's outside, um, outside marriage, sexual relationship is a, is, it becomes, is a carnal thing. It's a flesh thing. But they express love. Mm. Uh, so the, the kind of love that is expressed in that area is, 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 is just, it's just pure um, sexual feeling. You see, love is deeper than that. Love is intimacy. And anything that will bring you uh, self-condemnation or guilt, especially if you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian and you don't have Christ in you, so you, you might not know, you not, I mean, you might not be like a, a normal life, but the pain is still there. But if you're a Christian, the moment you begin to fornicate, then something in you condemns you, which is your, your spirit. You have guilt. And you, it will affect your, even your relationship with God. So you, sometimes you know that you did something wrong. And you do something that you can't publicly let people know. So you have to hide it. So the moment you start in, a, in your relationship, the moment you start having secrecy, hiding thing, and something that can embarrass you, becomes, um, it, it's, you can't really call that expression of love. Mm. Because you can get hot in so many ways. You can get pregnant. You can get heartbroken. Um, so, I mean, so when it comes to, I, I will say that it will not be a right expression of love. Outside and marriage. Outside marriage. Okay. Then, if a man insists, that says that if you don't lie with me, I will not date you, I will not marry you. Or you don't love me. Or you don't love me. Because that's a lot. Or you, don't, you don't love me. Mm -hmm. Most time, most time, that person just wants to take advantage of you. Does not really, really love you. Someone that loves you, truly loves you, the real love, will protect you. Will protect you. And even if, even, even if you are vulnerable, maybe you are emotionally vulnerable, he knows that I can take advantage. But because he loves you, because he loves you, he will protect you. He won't allow you to, to fall in that direction. See, most times, most times, most times, if the man, most times, if the man wants to truly marry you, and, and he knows that he will marry you, he won't be desperate for that, because he knows that he will still have it. All he needs is endurance and self-control, because he wants to marry, and he knows that at the end, he's going to, ha you will meet. But when but the man is, say that some is not religion. Sure, um, some tribes that they must sample first <laughs> before they, they even yeah, yeah, ask in the family. You're corrupting me. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> the, the, if tribes, a lot, of, a lot of those tribes and cultures is out of um, the fallen man and out of the fear, mm. some, some areas they are afraid maybe the woman will not get pregnant after marriage. So they orchestrate a system 
that so that the woman must be they must be sure that she's fatter. That she's fatter for the man. But if she's not fatter, they will not marry her. Mm. So that gives you that the the person you are with, if he knows that you will not have a child, he will not marry you. Mm. Is that love? <laughs> Someone that truly loves you will think positive for you, will be willing to stand by you mm. all the way. Do you understand? And if, it, if you're a Christian, we know that with us together in agreement, there's nothing God will not do for us. Mm. But the moment the, the person is not willing to risk things, he wants to be sure. Extra sure. Extra sure. And that's why some, that's some, some people, they, they, they defy marriage. Do you, do you know what they're doing? They want to be sure that you, you that money you say you make, once you make, once I see you making it. Mm. So I don't want to commit. Never money's not coming. Money is coming. <laughs> they change their So they try to defy time. But if it is genuine love, you will be able, you will wait till you are married. And when you are married, sexual relationship mm. in to God is one of the ways he, the expression of intimacy. Bible says, just said, I am a father, we are one. You know, let us make man in our image. So there's, there's an intimate, it's a two shall become one. So is, is apart from um, having children, is also a means of bonding without any guilt, any, you know, because you are one body. So, if you are a couple, if you're a couple, you must be intimate. If you are a couple, it is the duty of the man to be intimate with his wife. Duty of the wife to be intimate with the, with, with the man. The moment you break that intimacy, you are breaking the love already. The moment a couple starts abstaining from se their sexual intimacy, take it from me, just give it time. The, the, the relationship will, will, will begin to part. It will affect the relationship. So intimacy in marriage, in marriage is very, very critical. I've seen situations whereby the woman will say, oh, I... I don't, I don't feel, I don't like intimacy. So they deny the man. I've seen where the man will say, uh, I, I'm, I have so much bug in my head, you know. I can't think intimacy is the last thing, last thing in my mind. At the end of the day, most times, that marriage has problems. Because even the Bible says it, that you should not the fraud. That's right. Fraud. <laughs> don't fraud. Don't, perform, don't rob your wife or rob your husband. Even in fasting, even in fasting, you need to, you see, it's one of the conditions to, to, for you to fast. You must take permission. Mm. And not only permission, permission of duration of time. If the madam says no, it overrides your fast. If you don't say you want to go, you are, you are spiritual, you are on your own. So that's for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Even if, if in 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 in, in um, is is in time of Moses, Moses that they wanted to ha have a fast, that Moses had to insist that please, this one is Maybe fast without a uh, uh, real fast, complete one. <laughs> but he told them it's for only three days. Three days. So if a man and a woman, say, uh, in my church, we're doing 90-day fast. Mm. So three months. And you just got married last month. <laughs> <laughs> when you break by six, uh, do it. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that because you're fasting, you should not meet. Mm. You, when you break, the fasting starts at the next clock. Uh -huh. Time yourself. <laughs> that, have I said that one? Yes. So it's important to identify it 
and sustain it and maintain it in marriage. But it doesn't show that one loves you outside marriage. Yes. yes. Okay. So in, ma in marriage, it's intimacy with your husband is very, very important. If you, and with your wife. Yes, with your husband and your wife. It's very, very important. And make sure that that area is one of the benefits of marriage. So that area should be, should be maintained. It's all about bonding together. That's, and that, that's what, you see, that's the outward expression of our relationship with God. When two becomes one, mm. when your heart beats together, your mind, everything is together. You, th see, you, you, you think together. And that's what God wants to build between us and him. Mm. So when God calls you, he's not call, calling you to just, oh, serve me, master. Oh, mm. my Lord. Oh, yo, I, I need job. Oh, I need breakthrough. Oh, no, 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 no. He wants to talk to you. God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. And in our, in our dispensation, he, he, he communes with us as the Holy Spirit. That's why the Holy Spirit is, is, is a person that is gentle, kind, and listens. Why God wants us to build relationship with him. Mm -hmm. So salvation is not just, I'm saved. Come into my heart. Why do you come into my heart? To live there, to fellowship with me. So God wants intimacy, wants fellowship. Does not want you to be alone. Mm. So if there's anyone that you feel that you are alone, God wants to fill that vacuum. Mm. He wants to come into your heart. Mm. He wants you to know that you are not alone. And he's not going to just come into your heart because he just wants to come. He wants to come to love you, to care for you. Because love is giving. Mm. Love is, love is sacrificial. Love is, is, being, is being dependable. And that's who God is. So if you are there and you are saying, I have not expressed this love we are talking about. They don't even know what you're talking about. There's someone called love. Mm. The Bible says God is, who? is love. love. And it, that's why the Bible says, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. He can give anything for you. If he can give his son, his assurance to you, there is nothing God cannot give, I will not give to you. Amen. So, uh, if you're here or you're online, and you're here to have a love relationship with the Almighty God, today is your, your day. Amen. If you are here, I want you just to, all eyes closed, please. Just want to give an opportunity for someone that wants to experience the love of Christ. The love of Christ. The love of Christ. He comes into your heart and makes your heart his dwelling place. He comes to forgive you of your sins. He comes to wipe your sins away. He comes to, to, to give you a new beginning. He comes to give you the best you can ever ask for. Be beyond your imagination. Because he loves you. Mm -hmm. I want you to invite him to your heart today. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Can you put your, heart on your hand on your chest? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I invite you to my heart. I invite you into my Come heart. into my life. Come into my life. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Come and be my Lord and Forgive Savior. me of my sins. Forgive me of my I confess sins. I confess that I'm a sinner. That I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. I will sin no more. I will sin no more. I want you to, to be my Lord. I want you I want to, to, be to my follow Lord. you. I want, to I want to be intimate with you. I want to be intimate. I want to love you. I want to love you. I want you to love me. I want you to love From me. From today. From today. I surrender. I surrender. Thank you. Thank you. For hearing me. For hearing and me. And answering me. And answering me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Your prayer prayer. If you're online, you're home, please send me a message on the WhatsApp number and email number on the screen. If you are on site, a card will be given to you. I want to meet with you. Briefly on the service, just to pray with you and agree with you that this new love that you have found in this love season, yes. it will endure forever. forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to pray for someone. Either that you are in a relationship and love is, as, is running cold. You can feel 
love run cold. No matter if you are falling into any of the gaps, abstinence, um, not invested enough time, energy to, 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 to relationship, and that you spend time apart for too long, whatever it is, Bible says, I will restore the years that the locust, the caterpillar, the cacao has eaten. Which means God has a provision to restore. I pray for you today that God will restore love in your relationship. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For any relationship that is drying out of love, for one thing, either financial pressure, either you have gone through a hard period in your life and it has choked your love relationship, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let love be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Let it be restored in the name of Jesus. All you are there and you are saying, I don't know how to love again. I, I don't even have it in me. I don't even have I've been heartbroken. I, so I don't even know where to start from. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the Lord himself, because he is love, he will invade your heart. Amen. He will invade your heart. Amen. He will invade your heart. Amen. If you are someone that you have been hurt, you've been disappointed, you have been, you have been, you have been, you have been wounded in your heart, you trusted someone and they wounded you, I pray for you today. For the healing of your wounds. Amen. The healing of your wound. Amen. The balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. It will heal your wound. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for someone. You've had opportunities and you have missed it. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. We have a God that can restore. He can what? He can restore. He can restore every opportunity that you have missed, Amen. that you have lost. Amen. I decree. Let it be restored. Amen. Let a new chapter come again Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I says, I'm aware that summer comes, yes. summer goes. Yes. Ah, rain goes and it comes again. Amen. The season always comes back. Amen. It always comes back. I decree in the name of Jesus that your season of love is returned. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's your season of love is returned. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are single and you're not yet married, you've had opportunity before, but it has passed. All you, are, all you are saying, I was not sensitive. I didn't know that it was a priority. And I said, that passed. And you're saying, oh, so what's my case? So have I missed it in life? No. God is able to bring back that opportunity Amen. and I decree that your new season your new season that you will not miss is returning in Jesus name Amen. is returning in the name of Jesus Amen. and I decree that this time you get it right Amen. this time you will not miss it Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. and so shall it be Amen. in Jesus mighty name Amen. Let someone just shout, I 